Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today I am out here, and what I am getting ready to do right now, do you guys remember those trees that we showed you at Tractor Supply? Well, guess what? This area right here is gonna be my archery. As y'all can see, it is a lot of work out here. But what I'm getting ready to do is go ahead and do some chainsaw work. Get ready to clear this area out, pile all the stuff that I cut down, and get it burned. So I'm going to go ahead and get my chainsaw started up. You know, hope it don't get too loud for you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Cutting out all these little small undergrowth, the bigger trees, all these stuff. I'm going to cut them out. And as y'all can see, we're getting real good sun. And... That's why I picked this spot right here on the homestead because it gets lots of sun and that's what your fruit trees need to strive, especially when your fruits are getting ready to start ripening. That's what it needs. It needs a lot of sunlight, you know, helps it to grow and, and do what it needs to do. Of course, you know, we all know you can't do anything without the sunlight anyway, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Crank up my chainsaw and excuse me, you know, I got a chicken in there just going crazy. But well, that's life on the homestead, y'all know it. <laughs> okay, so just want to show y'all a little bit of progress that I've made so far. This right here is all the trees, well, most of the trees that I'm going to cut down is now down cut all of them now so what I have to do is cleaned up and I have two more trees that I have to get cut I don't know if y'all can see this big tree right there I have to cut that tree and I have a couple of cypress here I'm not gonna cut them but what I'm gonna do is cut the limbs off of them and just leave a little top up there and also that tree right there I have to cut that tree right there as well but before I cut them and make more mess for myself what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean up everything that I cut down so far and go ahead and put them on the burn pile so we can get them burnt and out of the way all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get to cleaning it up and I'll bring y'all back once I make some progress okay guys so all in a day's work uh got it knocked out so far still haven't cut that tree right there yet this one right here but uh tomorrow that will be for another day but just to show you and i did cut that other tree that i was telling you about it's right there on the ground and so I'm just going ahead and cutting it up all into small pieces, but that's it right there. <laughs> that's my pile after clearing this area right here out and stacking it high. So probably tomorrow I'm going to come on through and go ahead and light that fire. And trust me, y'all will be here to also see that in action. All right. And so, just give you guys a little view on the other side over here. And so, this is the other side. Cleared all the way out. And so, and I had to get my big boy, that's my big boy chainsaw there. I had to pull that on out for that big old tree. But, um... This is it right here. So this is where the orchard, orchard gonna be at for fruit trees and everything else. And so that's it, but I'm not done yet. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this tree on up. Um, you know, it's dusting down. So I wanna get as most of it cut up as I can right now. So that way tomorrow in the morning, it'll be like breeze going through it, get it lit. Clearing up, clear up the area and also go ahead and probably start digging some holes 
and that will probably be for another video because I want to show you guys how to plant the fruit trees and get them in the ground real nice and set and so that's it right there and when I get ready to light that fire and everything I'll bring you all back right okay so this is day two here and I'm getting ready to cut that big boy the one I showed you all previously so getting ready to go over there and cut it we're gonna get it out the way It's good right there. So, you know, I had a little fence right here. I had a limb, as y'all can see, was kind of leaning that way. But I, I cut it just right to where that it fell, right where I want it. And that's that's a plus. That's a thumbs up right there. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do? Let me get over there, get my smaller chainsaw, and start taking off all the smaller limbs. And what I'll probably do is make another burn pile somewhere over there because I have to do some cleaning up over there as well. And another thing that I want to drop on you guys is those big tree that you see we're cutting right there, I'm going to cut up those pieces into firewood size. And the reason for that is you never know when you're going to need some fuel. And that's exactly what that is. So I'm going to cut them up in size, stack them up for whenever that time come that I'm going to need some wood to maybe burn or who knows what cook outside or something like that so I'm gonna definitely save those woods so that's just a little nugget that I'm dropping in there for y'all so if y'all got tree on your property you cut it don't throw it away cut it in size put it aside and have it for a later date all right so the next thing is I'm gonna bring you guys along when I get ready to burn this pile here and what I'm gonna do I don't have no diesel on hand and absolutely not, we do not want to use any kind of gasoline. So I'm going to run out to the store real quick, get me some diesel. Then I'm going to come back on in and we're going to go ahead and light this baby and get rid of it. All right. Okay, so find me a little bit of diesel inside of the shed. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now I look like it's doing something. So once it, once it gets all of it get going, we'll bring y'all back so y'all can catch it. As y'all can see, I got both fires rolling, and they're doing pretty good so far. Uh, the backside on that one hasn't catch yet, neither the other one, but it's it's moving. And so what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and got my blower. And I just came and kind of created a little break, you know, fire break line, just to kind of control that fire a little bit. And as y'all can see, it is moving, you know, it's moving, it's moving. And so what I also want as well is to kind of burn this small little area off right here. And that's why I went ahead and grabbed my blower to create a little break line. But this is definitely moving. As y'all can hear it move, y'all can hear it rumbling as well. You know, so, but when they get burnt all the way down, we'll bring y'all back. It is definitely rolling now. That heat is hot. 
hot, hot, hot. This one here's this more so burning like on the inside. Most of these wood is wet. So of course you know that fire gotta roll and dry out a dry the wood out a little bit. But then it should be alright. So I can see it is slowly going down. Slowly burning down, burning down. And so once we get everything cleaned up, all the little pieces that the fire didn't get to, and then we're gonna bring y'all back and close this video on out. Don't want to make it too lengthy. You know, I guess I think y'all kind of get the the idea and the picture of what we're trying to accomplish here. And over here, I'll take y'all over here. I told y'all I want to kind of burn off a little bit of stuff and kind of helps a lot because it helped to reveal a lot more debris that was on the ground. So this is it here. Still got a little bit more debris that we got to clean up. Still got fire. I'm trying to burn out a couple of stuff. It's just a lot of mess down in there as well. But you know, it's 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 definitely it's definitely starting to look like something. Okay, guys. So I am out here and just out here just to get ready to close out this video. As y'all can see, we have everything cleared out and burned. And so, you know, I actually wanted to keep the ashes that came from this fire pile here, but. You know the rain kind of came through and messed me up so you know it's all right because i still have quite a bit more cleaning up and different stuff that i need to take care of here on the homestead so i'll get some ash eventually and the reason for that ash is to you know use inside of the garden you know it's, it's, it works very good in the garden but as y'all can see we got it cleared up and my wife is going to come on out and just find where she want to put you know her fruit trees and different stuff like that you know where she want to plant them and i'll just get the whole dug and plant them for her but that is it right there family just coming down now to close out this video and you know as always thanking you thank each and every one for stopping by the humble servant homestead peace and blessings to each and every one of you and like and subscribe and share this video thank you